Today, let's understand how to create a waterfall chart using Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you two variations, a waterfall chart and a better fall chart. This video is sponsored by Zebra BA. Let's go. Here is my waterfall chart. It shows the awesome chocolates income statement for 2022. The blue bars are the revenue side of things and the orange bars are the cost side of things. And anything gray is actually totals. Setting this up is fairly straightforward. And here is my better fall chart. I call this better fall because it lets me not only depict the revenues and costs, but also add some arbitrary calculations like gross margin or operating margin, etc., as well as do comparisons with prior year or the forecast values. I'll demonstrate how to create both of these charts in this video now. So here is our profit loss data. You just select this data, go to insert and click on the waterfall chart. This option is available in Excel 2016 or above. So once you click on this, you will be able to select different types of charts. I'm going to pick my waterfall option and that will add a waterfall chart into my spreadsheet. The waterfall charts that are available by default in Excel are only vertical. So we cannot make horizontal waterfalls with this approach, but nevertheless, it works fine. Once the chart is set up, you need to tell Excel what various values are. There is one adjustment that we need to make to the data before we can go there, which is any cost side of things. So we have got revenue, which is positive and cost is a negative. It needs to be actually a negative number in the data. Right now here, everything looks like a positive number. So I'm going to quickly change the negative sign here, put the negative value there. And then you can see that as soon as I put that, this bar actually went down. Let's just do this for all of these guys as well. And then finally this one too. So now that all the positive and negative values are correctly formatted, we just need to select the total values, which are, for example, here, this plus that is my revenue. So select that. Usually when you select Excel, will select all the items in the chart, just click again, and then it will highlight that value at this point, right click, and then set the thing as total. We'll do the same for gross margin, operating income. And at this point, our profit loss waterfall chart is more or less ready. There are a couple of problems with this though. The number one problem being the labels are too big. And this is where you can select the chart data and then apply a different formatting and then that will change that. The label problem aside, there is actually other bigger problems with this chart data, which is if you see the axis wording here, it will always be vertical. Okay, pause here. It's not really vertical. Excel determines what is the alignment for this automatically, which is very hard to read. But there is no way for me to turn this into horizontal because Excel, for some weird reason, decided to not give us any of those extra formatting options on these charts. And the second problem is I cannot rename these words they always say increase and decrease. I can't say costs and uh, revenues or anything like that. They will have to be these things. Of course, we can type a different chart title here, but those are some problems. And this is where I went looking for a better waterfall or a better fall. And that's when I bumped into the Zebra BA, which is also the sponsor for this video. So they have got a really simple Excel charting add on that we can use to generate these kind of visuals. Many times when you are making waterfall charts, one of the limitations is that you not only want to make the waterfall, but also want to do a comparison with plan or previous year or forecast. And we are not able to do any of those things with this. Not only that, the default waterfall charts are also not compatible with pivot tables. So if you have got this kind of data coming to you from a pivot table, it takes a lot more work to make this chart work. So let's take a quick look at how this part of the chart can be prepared. The first step is go to your insert ribbon and then click on the get add-ins button and search for Zebra. You have got a couple of add-ins here, Zebra BI charts for office and Zebra BI tables for office. 
So we're going to use the table option because that will generate this kind of a waterfall view in a horizontal fashion for us so that the labels are readable and we are able to add comparisons and everything. So you can add this. I have already added this in my Excel. And then once you follow this, it will show up in the my add-ins option here. And from here, we can insert that. Before we insert, we are just going to select all of this data. Notice that in this data, I have not set up any negative formatting or anything. The data is as it is. So this is also easier because Zebra BI can actually automatically set the negative and positive direction for me. So we select this data, go to my add-ins Zebra BI tables. At this point, you can go and purchase the Zebra BI add-in or you can use the free license, whichever works for you. And it will automatically generate this view for us. Well, this view works. It's not the ideal view that I want. So I'm going to go here, click on that and then change this to a waterfall view. Notice that at this point, all the values are adding one on top of another. We do need to set those totals. So right click on the revenue and set this as result. We'll do the same for gross margin, this one as well, operating margin, and then change these to negative. So you are going to invert these so that the bars go in the negative direction. And there is our horizontal better for chart that shows the income statement in a very clear and concise manner. You can choose to add some additional column calculations. For example, here I have got a Delta PY, which shows me what is the difference from prior year. If you want that, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can also select this and then say hide column. Likewise, if you right click on any of these things, you can add a formula. For example, here I have added a gross margin percentage, operating margin percentage and net margin percentage as calculations. We can use the Zebra BI add-in with Excel tables and pivot tables too. Also, the add-in is free for personal use. So all of these features are available right out of the box from the Zebra BI. Whereas if I have to create something like this using the traditional Excel charts, it's going to be a lot of work for me because I need to set up so many more custom calculations and everything. So if you are interested in learning more about this, do check out the Zebra BI tables add-on from the video description link below. Thank you Zebra BI for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to the waterfall chart that we have seen earlier. Like I was mentioning, there are some problems with this, but it does give us what we want. So how do I fix these labels? First, we select the labels from the source data and then press control one to open formatting. And from currency, I'm going to switch to custom and notice that this is the custom format code Excel is using to format those values. So here I can set a different code so that it appears in millions because we are selling in millions of dollars. So there is no need to show those individual hundreds and ten positions. I'm going to round it up to millions. The code for this is whatever is already there dot zero comma comma. So now this is going to show me the value in millions of dollars because each comma takes away three digits because a million is six digits. So we put two commas and then it kind of rounds it up to that. And then within double quotes, I'm going to print M because it's in millions of dollars. We need to do this for both positive and the negative portion as well. So here also dot zero comma comma double quotes M. When you click OK, this formatting here changes because the chart labels are linked to the data values. The labels will also now appear better. So that is the waterfall chart tutorial. If you need some help, download the Excel file that has my waterfall chart as well as the better fall chart. And do check out Zebra BI if you want to make these kind of charts quickly in either Excel or PowerPoint. I'll catch you again somewhere else. Bye.